Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited. So I normally don't do first impressions on my channel and I don't think I've ever done an unboxing. Um, but I decided to make an exception this time because I was too excited, I couldn't wait and I wanted to kind of unbox with you guys um, the Desi and Katie Dose of Colors collection arrived at my front door today. It just arrived today and I could not wait. And for me, I was like, honestly, I feel like not to be biased, but I might just love everything. I've always wanted to order from Dose of Colors, um, but every time I've wanted to order, it's like their liquid lipsticks I know I've always wanted to order. Every time I wanted to order, it was sold out. It was sold out right when I was ready to order. It's like sold out. I was like, ah, damn it. Finally, I was like, we need to pull the trigger. This is Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors. I was like, all right, we're in for something pretty great. I haven't been this excited for a makeup collaboration since the Selena collection last October. So I was super excited that this next one that I was like, I need, I want to say all. <laughs> But I tried to get things, I was like, okay, girl, you can't go too crazy. But I definitely tried to get, you know, all the things that I definitely wanted. And they are going to do another launch of more stuff, I think probably sometime next month. So I was like, ooh, there's maybe a couple things I should probably pick up. So I'll probably get the rest of the collection um, when that relaunches. But honestly, I think this was like for a collection collaboration with YouTubers, like both of them, Desi and Katie, like this big and also colors. It was the smoothest like transaction ever. It was so like usually I'm ready. I'm ready. I was ready to you know knock some chicks out you know virtually and stuff. Do what I gotta. You know you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, if it was in stores, oof, we would have prepped. But it was so easy. I definitely I didn't get like I wasn't waiting there for hours and hours like I normally am. So I'm excited. I think they handled that very well. So to start with the unboxing, I did just open it just because I had to at least just see the it packaged up. I couldn't wait. But something I want to note, I love that the box kind of came in like their same kind of like blush nude. But what I love, I'm actually going to hide my address, was the fact that they had on their fragile. They put a little fragile sticker on the box. I was like, thank you, thank you so much. Never do I see that on makeup packages because this is precious cargo. This is fragile. Thank you so much, Jules, because the mailman don't care sometimes. But even with this, I was like, you want to take extra care of this package. So I really appreciated that. Just something I wanted to point out that was considerate of them. And then the packaging, I don't know if we'll fully show off camera, but it was so beautiful. I love that they even incorporated the packaging on there. And if you notice, not all my makeup is done right now because we will be testing stuff out. So let me start off with the stuff that I did get. Let me sure. Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, I don't even know what this is, but oh. okay, so basically they got me on the packaging. Oh, it's so beautiful. So this is the quad of the girls. So they named it after their dogs, which I thought was so cute. I have a dog. That is my baby. That is the love of my life. So yes, how attached you are to them. Like I'm so glad they kind of incorporated them in the name because also Loki, I love Daisy and Katie. I love Daisy and Katie. But I don't know, I just definitely, I get happy watching their snaps when I see their dogs. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I want to see Noli, I want to see Suze, I want to see Turbosan, I want to see Harpoon. Like, sometimes when their dogs come on their snaps, they make my day. That's how you know you're a weird dog person, but I thought that was so cute. And the packaging is so beautiful. Like, it doesn't look tacky, it looks so glamorous. Oh, I love it so much. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Noli. Holy crap. Yeah, these are nice. Ooh, Turbo Sun and Harpoon. Oh, it's like, yeah. Girl, if you wanna pop a lid on your eyelids, this is definitely the way to go. A harpoon is definitely, I think that's the one that it's best way, but Jesus Christ, these are so beautiful. I like that they definitely did do um, a lid shade that kind of just like pops because I, I feel like I do agree like everybody has their go-to palettes there's definitely a bunch of like warm tone palettes that everybody loves and then we're like oh my god another one because I feel like a lot of people maybe do kind of come out with those and if they're too crazy then people are like when am I going to use it I'd still buy it um, but I love it I feel like definitely you know when going out at night and stuff or even when I do freelance makeup that nice pop of color I think these are definitely great wow these are these are intense I can't wait to use them on the lid We 
you drop your highlight? <gasps> Mini heart attack. Ah, please be okay. Woo. Okay, this is what I was most excited for was the highlight. I love that it also comes in the Luxe packaging. So the highlight's just a little bit smaller. This is the eyeshadows and here is the highlights. Um, I mean, it's smaller than the palette, but I mean for a highlight, that's a good amount of product. Like, oh my god, look at all that. Okay, <gasps> moment of truth. So I got the shade Fuego. I definitely, well for my skin tone, I, was, I, was, I wasn't sure if Mirame would be a little bit too dark for my skin tone. Um, but I really wanted Mirame. Just like, Mirame. You know, but I got Fuego instead, and you know what? Hey, maybe I'll pull the trigger. My friend did get me on me, so maybe I'll have to swatch and see, and if it, you know, I can pull it off. <laughs> maybe I have to pick that one up too next time. But Fuego, ooh, these are so soft. Oh, so nice. Okay, where can I swatch Fuego? Okay, so let's swatch it right. Oh my god. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Oh my god. I know what I'm going to be for Halloween, just a champagne highlight. Oh, that is beautiful. I was afraid it was going to be a little bit too yellow, um, but definitely not. I, could de I feel like I can definitely pull this off with my skin tone. Oh my god, that's okay, I can't wait to use this. Okay, I'm going to try it on my face after. Just one quick swatch of everything. Yeah, I took out the credit card for this one. I was like, charge it. This is what I've always wanted. To oh my god, oh, the packaging is so nice. So this is what I've always wanted to get from Dolce Colors is their liquid lipsticks. I hear their formula is really great. And Jesus, oh. So yeah, they did say this was like that kind of like soft touch, kind of like the NARS packaging, but oh my god, this is even nicer. I got the shade Hot Fire. I was debating getting Sauvage. I was like, but I don't know how often I'll use that one. I know Hot Fire probably will. Um, but I've been seeing Sauvage on some people. I'm like, ooh, might have to get that next time. Okay, so let's see Hot Fire. I'm gonna put it down here. Oh, 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 that feels soft. Dang, that's pigmented. Jesus. Oh, that is so soft. I mean, I feel like maybe it was like a little bit kind of like streaky just because of the way I swatched it, but where I kind of like swatch it, that was pigmented. And normally I'm not one for like these really, really bright reds, but I was like, you know what, summertime, you're going to pull it off. You're going to be one for those really, really bright reds because this, I mean, this color is gorgeous, like a nice pop of color, put on your sunglasses, there you go, Instagram, Insta Famous. This packaging is so nice. Okay, and then the lipstick that I got, I only picked up no shade, because the other one was more cream replace, and that was definitely more on the orangey, like, nudie side on there. I'm not, that type of orange I think is definitely good for, like, olive skin tones, more tan skin tones for me. I feel like it's just orange on me. So, oh, so beautiful. I don't know how many shades of nudes that I have, but why not add one more and I love that they have their initials on there it just looks so luxe it feels so luxe okay let's swatch right above the high oh yes oh yeah oh yes um for some people depending on your skin tone you might just like this alone but definitely I prefer to use a lip liner and then like a lighter shade like this but that I thought it was gonna be maybe a little bit too orange for my skin tone but no this is definitely a, a nude shade that I would definitely go for with a little lip liner I'll bring out my lip liners but oh my god yes definitely not disappointed with swatches so let's add these to the face Okay, so just did some just quick transition shades, um, and I use, honestly, I love this because they're just like pair it with your favorite palette, and the one I decided to use today was the Sonia Kashuk, so find any like palette that you love, where they're either like matte shades, maybe if you want to mix in your own shimmery, but something as affordable as the Sonia Kashuk palette, which I love for neutral, and these are all matte, so these are great to kind of pair with this all shimmery palette and today I'm not gonna be doing anything too crazy complicated I really just want to see kind of how quickly these perform and because I do want to test out the uh, lipsticks I'm gonna play it neutral today but if you guys want to see like a tutorial with Turbo Sun and Harpoon I can definitely do that uh, but today just to keep it neutral I'm gonna go in with Noli and Suze um, just to kind of see how they work Okay, so Suze and Harpoon were the ones they suggested to do with the damp finger. So I'm just going to do like apply with my finger first and I'll probably just go in with the brush. So first I'm going, oh my god, that is beautiful. Oh my god. Okay, so first I'm just going in with Noli and Jesus Christ, yes. That is beautiful. I want to just go in on the edge. Oh my god. 
And I just want to go with my finger and I actually kind of want to dab, I'll dampen my finger. <sighs> that is gorgeous. Yes, definitely. So especially if you're like, you know what, I can't afford makeup brushes, guess what? Use your fingers. <laughs> That's how they suggest it. So you're saving money on that. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> That's beautiful. Just because I'm lazy, because they say you can just use water, but I'm going to take some wet Max Fix Plus. I'm not that bougie, I'm just lazy. And I'm just going to spray my finger. I'll probably go with the brush too, because I know there are some people who are going to want to just use a brush. I know I do, just for like maybe precision, or if you just have like those crazy long nails. <sighs> yeah. Honestly, any like shimmery eyeshadow, I always intensify it with Max Fix Plus, because why not? But yes, go for it. Okay, on this other side, I'm going to go in, on this side, I'm going to go in with the brush just to see. Because I'll probably go in just to kind of fix it a little bit. Um, Alright, so let's just apply it. And I'm using a MAC 242. That's definitely like my favorite lid brush just to pack on color. Yeah, definitely with the finger works a lot. No, actually this isn't too bad, but the finger is enhanced. Yeah, you definitely get the most color payoff with the finger. Maybe experiment with the different brushes that you have, but they did make them to work like that. Because you can definitely I feel like the brush you just kind of have to pat it on me. Um, wet it. And then go in. Go all in with Noli. Yeah, I would say if you're going to use a brush, wet it first and then pack it on and you know I feel like the brush rod you can definitely go that way and yeah you get that intensity right away <sighs> these colors are gorgeous definitely a beautiful bronzy shade maybe I don't know I'm trying to think of a bronzy shade it's kind of similar to this because these kind of have like those really pretty reflex I just want to go with my finger my finger is faster <laughs> Okay, I just want to put, no, yeah, fingers are honestly faster and the most pigment payoff. And then I kind of just want to go in the inner lid with Suze. Mm, mm, mm. Don't worry, I'm going to blend that out. Now I'm going to go in with Suze with my pinky too. Geez, Suze is intense. And you're going to add a water because you definitely said to apply it that way. Oh, that is pretty intense. Definitely, I would say do your makeup, face makeup after, but I just wanted to make this a little bit quicker. So I'm going to add a little bit of Fix Plus on my finger and dip back into Sue's. Ooh, yes. Yeah, that is gorgeous. Oh my God, that is intense. Yes, and imagine the inner corner highlight or shoot, if you want a face highlight. Go for it, girl. Add some water on the brush. Yeah, I like adding water if you want to use a brush and then kind of packing it on just to help it stay. These are definitely like birthday worthy shades. Cause you know, when, when it's your birthday, you're gonna go all out. You want to look right. This is definitely a palette to go for. I think we're even like, honestly, I kind of kept it simple. I just went in with my Sonia Kashuk. I went in with that like uh, peachy transition shade. And then I went in with almost like the, uh, what is it? Matte color it looks similar to like Max Swish chocolate. And if you wanted something like this, this is great. I can even go in with a little bit darker brown, a black, you can intensify however you want. But something like this, honestly, so simple, but oof. I think it looks so pretty. Once again, do your face makeup first. <laughs> or after, sorry. And then so you can wipe it out. Because you will probably, you know, with packing, you will get some fallout. Which, of any glittery eyeshadow, is true. So I'm going to just go pop on some lashes. And we're going to test out highlighters and lipsticks. So I added lashes and I didn't want to do wing liner because I definitely didn't want to take away from the lid shade. So just like a nice little line so I can cover the lash band. And the lashes that I use are the Salon Perfect 615s. I was like, I should have busted out the Queen Bees. Um, but 
I did I have a pair? I don't even know. But these are just easier, kind of like cut and trim up. And these are like kind of my queen bee inspired on a budget. So, you know, if you can't get your hands on the coca lashes, which are still really cheap, but even cheaper for like a pack of 10 if you want to get the salon perfect. I love these as well. Um, so very simple, but definitely like it has a great effect on the eyes. Now for the part that I'm really excited for, the Fuego highlighter. Oh my god, I can't wait. I love highlighters. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my Morphe M501 brush and then just kind of swirl that in there. Ooh. Ooh, that's intense. Ooh, girl. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it gives you like that really nice sheen. And it's like not chunky glitters. That's that's a nice highlight. Oh my god. Yes. I am not disappointed. And a little bit goes a long way, but of course, pile it on, right? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, I can't stop. Won't stop. Let's see if I spray my brush with Max Fix Plus. Because why not? Just, just load it on. Oh, yeah. If you want the wet brush route, that is intense. I love this highlight and I love the fact that it does not look too yellow on my skin. It's kind of like a nice golden champagne, but it's not too yellow. If you're afraid of that, I would definitely say go for the Fuego one. I'm curious about the meat on it. I wonder, and this is me kind of like with the little mini tan even, but it's, it's not even that much of a tan. <laughs> I'll list my foundation shades down below in like different brands in case you kind of want to like kind of gear where you might be. But honestly, I feel like, yeah, this is very... Ugh. Gorgeous. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Okay, this is pretty. Like, I can't stop staring at my head. Like, that's a problem. I mean, but is it though? <laughs> so yeah. Oh, so worth it. And the packaging is so gorgeous. And the product is amazing. <gasps> I love it. Uh, oh, I'm in love. Now for the lipstick in no shade. What I'm going to do. Should I show you? Let me show you just the lipstick. Um, which I don't think I'll ever really do. I'll definitely probably pair this with the lip liner, but just so you guys can see the lipstick and the formula. Yeah, that looks really bright. <laughs> I definitely need a lip liner, but it's so creamy. It doesn't tug on the lips and it's not like streaky. Honestly, if you like this look, go for it. I definitely, I like lip liner. I like a little bit of definition to my lips, but it's not streaky. It's not chalky. That can definitely be something for like light colors, really light colors. This is a really pretty peachy. Actually, it's okay, but I need a little lip definition. So I'm actually going to go in, I'm going to start over. Um, but I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk Maple Lip Liner. This is like Sonia Kashuk plus Desi, Katie, those are colors. Um, but this is definitely one of my favorite like kind of brownie lip liners. So I added my Sonia Kashuk the Maple Lip Liner. You can use any lip liner, but what I like about lip liners and that lipstick, especially like nudie shades, is you can really kind of manipulate the color to what you might have more of a preference over so I definitely want to kind of gear it and add some more of like that brownie nude to it. I was even going to go in with my Maybelline more kind of like that peach nude side so whatever you guys got kind of want to do to kind of um, gear towards whatever color you're looking for I like doing that but then I'll go in on the center. Oh yeah. And that's definitely how I would wear it. Yes. Maybe it's just my inner chola pairing the darker lip liner with the lighter lipstick, but I definitely like doing that and then just kind of blending everything together. And this is a nude that I love. So I kind of like the concept of use what you have and combine it with their products and make it your own. I love it. So you can just go through your stash and it just, I feel like it goes with anything that you have that you want to use and you can kind of change it to however you like. That's how I'm kind of viewing it and I love it. So today I'll go in with like a brownie lip liner, maybe another day I'll go in with something a little bit more mauve -y. maybe I'll go with something more of a peach orangey lip liner. 
and you can this color can kind of change up for you and it's probably gonna look different on different skin tones just wear how you would like it so especially if you get a color that's way lighter that's what I love to do okay I don't want to take it off because I love this color but I do want to try on the liquid lipstick but I this little lip liner is used and abused I would definitely be pairing it with this. Oh, the packaging is gorgeous. All right, now I'm excited for the Fuego uh, liquid lipstick. I have never used a dose of color liquid lipstick before, so I'm definitely excited. And I'm also kind of scared that if I love the formula, guess what, now they sell them at Ulta online. I can get points, so easily accessible. This is gonna be dangerous. Oh, that feels soft, okay. Oh. That glides on so nicely. Ooh, okay. Mm. I'm gonna let it dry down before I get lipstick all over my teeth. Okay, so this is the Hot Fire lipstick and honestly, I'm glad that I got it. I don't normally go for these like really, really bright, almost like orange tones in these red shades, but this is so bright and this is like the right type of like brightness orange where uh, I kind of stepped outside of my box with this one, but I love it even more so in person. And if you have a tan, this is gonna look even like more gorgeous. Like this, oh, it's gonna look so beautiful, like on really like tan and dark skin, especially in the summertime. Definitely gonna get my photo with my sunglasses, but I really, it's growing on me. I didn't think I'd be comfortable with this summer color, but I was like, says it, Katie, I gotta get it. And the formula, I've never tried dose of color lipsticks, but the it was super pigmented i if anything i was just kind of like adjusting around everywhere i feel like i didn't need multiple layers one layer is definitely enough it dried down quickly i don't know if it's fully dried out yet but it feels pretty dry it feels comfortable with my lips doesn't feel like like my lips are like shrinking and shriveling up and like because it's so like freaking matte definitely very comfortable looking forward to wearing this on a nice weekend oh who knows maybe i'll play it up during the week with a little bit more color but I am liking this. I am liking the packaging. I'm definitely like, okay, maybe I'll get Savage too. I regret not getting the over-the-top lip gloss because I was like, you know, I'm not, I don't really wear lip gloss that often. But seeing it in photos, I was like, we might have to get that. So I might be picking up that next as well as maybe like Savage and see how I like it. But overall, I, I feel like they did not disappoint. I feel like definitely... Desi and Katie, I feel like when I heard they were coming out with the collab, I feel I didn't feel like they were disappointed. I didn't think they were just gonna, you know, throw their name on just a half ass palette that's like chalky and unblendable. I was like, I have true faith that they're definitely gonna try to deliver and give us some amazing products as well as the owner of Dose of Colors, Anna. I just feel like they work so hard on this and it definitely reflects i think everything all those like really nice touches they did i love it if you guys have picked up any of these items from their collection definitely let me know let me know what your favorites are i think for sure the highlight is my favorite that was just whew, amazing because who doesn't love a good highlight and i think the eyeshadows everything i love but those definitely just stood out like i know i would definitely be using them so so much but everything else i think the quality was amazing so definitely they will relaunch again because i know for me i'm picking up whatever i'm missing so if you guys weren't able to get anything at all save your money put it in kind of like a little savings under the bed <laughs> under the mattress um and definitely pick something up if you haven't picked anything up yet let me know what you guys have your eyes on especially because i'm pretty sure there's a bunch of reviews out there and like i said i don't normally do first impressions because honestly first of all it's just gonna be like oh my god or i don't know about that type of thing it's not gonna be really like super thorough um, but then also because I, I want to give like full-on reviews how did it wear how did it go but I was like with these I could not wait I was like okay I'm gonna do a first impression for these because I feel like all they're gonna get is probably like amazingness and I definitely truly feel like I was so impressed by these products so I hope you guys enjoyed this mini first impressions of the products maybe another day if I ever do another first impressions, it'd be one of those kind of like wear it all day and kind of do check-ins like that. But with this one, I just wanted to play with the products and I really just kind of want to open everything up with you guys because I feel like some of my first impressions are probably similar to those of you who have probably gotten some of the products. Let me know if you're as crazy as I was. <laughs> kind of toned it down. I kept it. I wrapped it up, wrapped it up a little bit. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.